proper air returns in a basement are easily overlooked and I've noticed it in a lot of jobs and a lot of finished basements. I'm going to show you the importance of to keep your air returns low on your walls and why it's so important and it's big for mold issues. So here is just a simple mock-up of how your furnace works, how air return and supply uh, ducts work as well. So I've just mocked this up. This is just my joist showing my ceiling. The dotted line is just showing the ducting in your your air supply or your air registers or your heat registers I should say. So normally what's normally in a basement they have your air return in the ceiling, right? So let's say this is the air return right here. It's usually just a flat grill on the ceiling, okay? So in this scenario what happens is when your furnace kicks on it forces air out of these, right? So it forces air out and that air is hot air. Now if this is your air return the furnace just pulls air and pushes air out and it's an equal balance so that you don't get any weird pressures in your house. So if this is your air return it's sucking air back in towards the furnace. Now these wouldn't be in the same joist space just so you know. So what happens is, is hot air rises, right? So all your hot air is sitting up in here. And that's hot air. So it forces hot air in, but then this air return just drags the hot air back up. So essentially all your hot air is just mixing up at the top. Okay? So I'm going to show you the importance of air returns low. Now the scenario I've moved my air return down low in the wall. There's lots of different ways to do it and it's actually fairly simple to do. So let's just say this is attached to the furnace. Furnace kicks on. This is pulling air inward towards the furnace. It runs past all the flames, shoots up to your supply and your hot air comes out of your heat registers, right? So now what happens is this is hot, your hot air has been sitting up in your ceiling the whole time. Your furnace kicks in. Now it pulls and forces the hot air down and into your air return and it just circulates. Now it takes all this like maybe the cool damp air that's in your basement because your basement is in the ground so it's, it's more likely to be damp and kind of, you know, sometimes your basement smells kind of muggy. So this eliminates that problem. It takes and circulates all the air around the room, pulls it in, and now you have heat in the lower part of your room as well. So it'll feel more comfortable, it'll smell fresher, it'll lessen the chance of mold, just with that one simple little solution.